Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Uzbek Unleashed. So, you know, while we're playing, this is still release day for me. Um, because I'm recording a ton of this, because I love it. But, um, I'm talking to Wiz, and I keep telling him, like, Hey Wiz, it's 1500! I'm five years ahead of time on Diplo and Military, I've got a thousand plus points in the bank, and I've done a whole idea group. And he's like, oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> he's like, if you can keep it up for a couple hundred years, or a hundred years, then yeah, maybe I'll concede that it's a little bit overpowered. Okay, challenge accepted. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to expand to the point where we're fighting France and we're ahead of time on France. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. That's that'll be when I know that when we're ahead of time on France. Who, by the way, I think France has like an idea in their national ideas that's minus five percent tech. So like, one of those, they're one of those countries that not only are they Western, but they're just OP because they have reduced tech costs as well. Um, and even if they didn't, like, there's multiple countries in Western Europe who have tech cost reductions, so they take the tech early and give everyone else neighbor bonus, and so, you know, if we can keep up with France, that's the key. So, in the meantime, um, let's go ahead and uh, wrap this war up if we can. Hey, Timrids, you are still hostile to me. Okay, so no military access from you. Got it. We need nine troops to do the Siege of Merv. Let's get started on that. Alright, we got a core done. Cool. Uh, looks like unrest should be pretty well squared away. Um, why is it showing that I have two missionaries? Hmm. Hmm. Not my missionary. Is it because... That's weird. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. No, we'll just keep our army together. We don't care about the Tangri Zealots. We can easily convert Tangri ourselves later. Let's get this siege out of the way. We do have some artillery here now, which is quite nice. Uh, we don't have a leader here, though, which would also be quite nice. Um, what was that? There will be a... Oh, I love that. Cool. Uh, two siege guy. You don't need to be there. You need to finish your siege first, apparently. I cannot wait until we have offensive, innovative, and uh, I don't know what else. Good stuff. Doom. So yeah, this siege is going to take a little while. Uh, we just converted something. I think it was Yarkand, the center, lo the location of the important religious center. Apparently it's still a religious center. And yet, it's now back to Sunni. Okay, whatever. Convert stuff, go. Hey, would you stop that? That's just rude. I don't appreciate this. Let's go take care of that army. I don't want him to do that. Huh. <laughs> Debased currency. I was only printing a little. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Alright, well, that one occupation doesn't bother me too much. Uh, let's bring you over. And unrest. Where's unrest at? Where'd it go? Do we have no unrest right now? We have no unrest right now. Not a single province in our entire country has it. unrest. Well, that certainly makes it easy. These battles being worth this much war score is kind of ridiculous. I love the battle indicator. It is probably the best thing. It's like, it's like, every time Paradox makes a patch, they're like, oh yeah, we've got all these new features, and everyone gets excited. And Paradox gets excited, and they say like, hey, this is what we're, you know, we really think this is really good, people are going to like this. But the thing that I always end up finding is like the absolute best is something small that I don't think that they really thought was going to be a big deal. But to me, more so than the Cossacks, more so than the Estates system, I just like the battle indicator. I think the battle indicator is freaking awesome. It's just such a great change, you know? Alright, so we only have one province that we're going to sell as soon as this war's over. Um, Persia's just declare war on the Timurids, okay. On uh, down there, I take it? Okay. Alright, how are we doing on truces with, like, Kara? Quite a while. Genoese, Crimea... I don't think we want to fight that just yet. Muscovy's got Kazani Separatists. Hopefully they fire and then we can attack them. 
In the meantime, uh, Delhi's on tech 7, as is Molten. We should really attack them, like, right now while we have tech 9. Uh, let's go ahead and tech up. I know we have 100 piety, so it's really not ideal, but we're gonna do it anyway. We want to get that trade efficiency bonus, not to mention we get superior unit types. The Step Raiders. Just gained a bunch of pips. We went from 4 pips to 6 pips. Not bad. We'll take it. Meanwhile, the Tangri Zealots are converting all the lands. It's fine. Tangri is, I think, easier to convert for us than uh, the other one is. No, it's about the same. So Japan's not even bothering to try to land troops over here, which is great. Go join that siege. In fact, why don't we grab the siege guy and put him in charge. And the other army over here, we'll put the other leader in charge of in case Japan does land some troops. Hey, tolerance may make us rich. Indeed it might. Negative three ducats a month, not bad, but considering we've trained up from like 20 regiments to 40 regiments, I feel pretty good about not losing that much money. Alright, cool. Um, can I end my wars now, please? No one has won enough battles. I mean, you're going to keep on getting war exhaustion. Eventually. I'd really prefer for you to come land some troops, though. You must have landed troops at some point in the past, since you took that land. So, could you please? Alright. Autonomy increased has gone away. That initial phase, without having humanist ideas, was a little bit tricky. Um compared to what we're going to be doing now. Now I think it's going to be pretty cheap. Also, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're barely losing money. I forgot that I had a level 2 advisor. That's why we're having financial difficulty. It's not because of much else. So that's great. Alright, Kiva and Khorasan both consider this to be their cores. Looks like we could create a vassal here. We could create Khorasan. Hmm... We'll wait and see. I might create a, a three, three core vassal. Kiva. You know, on the other hand, Kiva has cores. Oh, here's what we do. Um, yeah, we conquer it, we burn it all, and then we release it, and then we feed their cores back. But if we do that, ah, these can't be cored. They can't be burnt anyway. That's perfect. I think we're gonna have to dump one of these other alliances. Actually, hold on. We're probably gonna be done integrating you soon. March of 07. That's perfect. It's fairly soon. Well, we're at 100%, so we might as well end the war, right? Do, do, do. Uh, give up your claims? No, 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 no. Don't give up your claims. Burn it! Destroy the fort. Don't core it. Can't create subjects while at war. We're not going to start any of the course. I don't think I'm going to be able to end this war with Japan anytime soon, actually. And I only have three war scores, so I can't even demand territory. It's really annoying. I do have the ability to make boats, don't I? Let's make boats. Eh. Just kidding. I guess the war with Japan is kind of silly right now, isn't it? Okay, Persia's only on turn tech 6. Afghanistan, we border. They only have an ally, Sindh. Sindh is far away, tech 7. Persia's the weakest one. Persia has no allies. So, Persia's the one to attack. We'll take the, um, keep the piety high, it's fine. It's a shame that uh, Kiva here doesn't have any cores or claims on anything else. Coruscant, on the other hand. Yeah, Coruscant already still exists, though. It's fine. So do we want to wait until March of 07? One more year? And then, uh... Then we'll have the relationship slot. We can release this little tiny guy. Um... It seems pretty reasonable to me. 
We'll feed some land to him. We'll keep on burning stuff and then just selling it to the to the vassals one by one. Korchin has probably finished his core. He's doing a good job. We're also finishing up the integration of him. I will take this. Even though it would be nice to have the minus 10% from negative piety, I don't see it happening for a while. Not to mention, we still have a lot of land to convert, so I don't mind having, you know, tons and tons of piety. So, let's say we attack Persia. All of this land is going to be nice for burning. Six development, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Or Sunny Separatists. Truce with you. Kara, Jiangsu, Timrods. It's unfortunate that we have to take a loan. Did I ever end up paying back my loans? Ages and ages ago? Apparently we only have one loan. That was a big loan that we just took. Wow. Three point six ducats from gold. I hear that's pretty good. Hey Japan. Japan. Look, dude, if you're not gonna land troops. I can't end up with a hundred percent war score after five years. Cause we don't have a ticking war score. What what what's changed here? It doesn't say that they'll accept or not. Let's just see what they do with white piece. Alright, good enough. I don't actually want to be in this war. I want to be able to sell provinces. So, okay, so, oh god, that's what happened. The game is doing that thing again. It's freaking the hell out. Alright. <laughs> Wiz! It's doing that thing again. Oh man. Oh! Alright, I gotta say, I gotta take a screenshot of this and show Wiz. <laughs> oh man. Wiz, not supposed to do that. All right, um, new, save, save, done. All right, uh, well, let's play this episode out. Um, but that's funny. It's doing it again. I don't. It's like it seems like I've been playing the same amount of time as I was last time. Eventually, the game just like wigs out on you. All right, so we're gonna go that way. We're gonna go to uh, Korchin. We're going to. Grant them a province of Kirenga. That helps us out quite a bit. Mm. We're going to wait until the integration is complete, which will be at the beginning of next month. And then we'll create our vassal here. Here goes our diplomatic reputation. It's going to stop us from integrating you for the most part. Who cares? doesn't matter. Um, it gives us an extra relationship slot. So now we'll create a subject. Oh god, it's so messed up, I can barely see it. Kiva. We'll receive Kopet, Dog, Merv. That's the one. Sounds... Oh, did we burn it yet? I already did. Alright, yeah, do it. F1. Create subjects. Kiva. Send. Okay, uh, now Kiva has cores on Timurids. We're going to take all this land in Persia. States demand more control of territory. Of course they do. I'm guessing it's because we gained this land here. In Circassia. Hey, we have a cog. Cool. Alright, well I'm glad to have integrated him. Let's get our war declared on Persia. Show superiority, sounds great. Persia's got an army. But again, their tech 6 is just not going to be good enough. We got rid of all of our overextension by having done that. What's this 100% nonsense? It looks so weird. This game is all... It's just weird looking. This is not our own land. This is our vassal's land. So if we want to siege that, or fight that, we should wait until he tries to get in our land. 
started on that siege there. Uh, you have no artillery. Uh, we'll put the siege guy in charge. We'll put you in charge of this army. And then, depending on where you go, if you head to my land, he's not. Okay. Um, we will be there on the 8th, which is not fast enough. So now he's in defensive terrain. I don't like that. Could you not do that, please? That'll be a squish. He's just trying to take that back. Okay, well, um... Twice in a row, I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe just maybe, there's a problem with the interface. Alright, here we go. This is what we want. You come here, we fight you there. Power projection has slipped. Um, I need to be able to rival somebody nearby that's strong. Alright, that is a lot of dudes. This is a one hell of a messed up interface. Yeah, that's 20 war score. Good lord. It's pretty good. Alright, the Timurids occupying all this stuff is quite annoying. I'm gonna have to uh, to to wrap the video up, you know, right right away as soon as we get to about the right amount of time because I can barely see what's going on at this point. Peace offer from Persia. How can you be offering me peace offers if I haven't sieged any forts yet? You're trying to offer me a junk offer, aren't you? You're trying to offer me like concede defeat or some nonsense, which is completely unacceptable, by the way. Let's wait till we have this thing and then we'll just take a chunk, you know. Hey, get that back. Really, I want to get all the way down here. The nation of Novgorod is wanting me to join in a war against all of that. Um... See, some of the buttons are just missing now. Um... Nope. Nope. I'd rather that you two fight... You know, you, you go fight him and lose, and then when you're both weak, I'll attack you both. That sounds more fun to me. Alright, so we have a siege. We have a fort done. That's all that we care about. Why am I not able to super peace using right-click? Man, everything is messed up. Alright, uh, just give me all the things. Yeah, please do. Ah, uh, damn. That's uh, obviously way too much peace, peace offer. 98's pretty good. He's not willing to say yes to that just yet. I guess of expansion is totally acceptable. Let's siege down a couple more holdings so that we can get that peace deal. Such an easy fight when you're as OP as we are. And he's willing to say yes. So, yeah, I'll just take all that. Sure, sounds good. We'll delete the fort because forts are dumb. Um, we will take a look at the diplomatic map mode where we don't have course. Oh god. Alright, I'm just gonna save the game here and uh, reload because I this is just, I'm gonna get like a headache looking at it. Alright. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.